Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. Now, if you're thinking maybe the teenager just ran away, Jacksonville police say they don't think so. Joy's here now with what's become a painful mystery for a local family. Joy? Yeah, Tarek, imagine being Corbin's parents. Tonight, this gathering of about 50 people, including the local community advocacy group, Mad Dads, are asking for your help finding this family's son. Looking for answers and to alleviate their anxiety, 18-year-old Corbin Johnson's parents turn to people they know and prayer. Lord, this mother's heart is grieving. Gathering with the community advocacy group, Mad Dads, friends and family at this north side vigil, you can see the anxiousness in their faces. Corbin's parents say they have no idea where their son is after his friends called looking for him too. And they were saying they, he's missing, they, they haven't heard from him. And, and it's not normal for Corbin. Corbin is going to text me, he's going to FaceTime me, he's going to call me, and it's been five days, and that's not like Corbin to do that. Corbin's dad tells us he dropped his son off last Wednesday at 5 p.m. for a job interview. Shortly after, another family member returned Corbin to his mother's Northside home around 9.30 that night. They say their son got into a white car and left. That was the last time we talked to him. I texted him that next morning around 8.39 because he didn't get the job to see how he was doing. I never did get a response. The site of this vigil, a convenience store at the intersection of Hearts Road and Dunn Avenue near I-95, is the place family says Corbin was last seen. His parents told police they were constantly concerned about the friends Corbin had. But in their report, Jacksonville police say Corbin has never been missing before. Now his parents hope you can help. It's a lot of our young men that's missing, dying for no reason. Let's come together as a community, man. And if anybody know anything, please, please call JSO, call me, call somebody that you know. Just that we just want to find our son right now. Again, police are investigating this as a missing persons case. So take a good look. Corbin Johnson has a tattoo you can see on his neck of the letter U. Police say he also has his mother's name, Melissa, tattooed on his left arm and the name Jordan on his chest. His parents say their son often hung out with friends on the city's east side of town. So if you know anything about his disappearance, a reminder, you can call Crime Stoppers and give your information anonymously.